Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2018 Nissan Kicks. This is the second subcompact crossover that Nissan has come up with, the other being the Qashqai. On the outside, though not unpretty, Kicks is certainly more functional looking than anything. This is the style with manufacturers. They are anxious to develop the crossover segment to the max as they see a growing trend of the customer of all age groups preferring the crossover dimensions to the sedan dimensions. I'll discuss why later, take a look at kicks. There is a big trunk and the seats fold down 60-40, but imperfectly. The folded seats do leave a tremendous bump, still pretty roomy, and that includes the roomy back seat. Lots of room here and lots of height here. In front, same story. Lots of room, lots of height, and lots of hard plastic. Completely normal at this price. We often talk about Honda being an effective packaging company, but Nissan manages interior space very well on the inside in this subcompact crossover. There are three trims in Canada, and the basic trim is basic transportation at $18,000 Canadian with steel wheels, air conditioning, and cruise control. The mid-level trim is more interesting with available two-tone paint, CarPlay and Auto, 17-inch mags, and the all-important heated seats at 21,000. This all-equipped model we have here goes for 23,000 and adds side and rear traffic alert, synthetic leather seats and steering wheel and front dash. Nice. The chassis and rigidity of the vehicle seemed okay. I did not hear many rattles, price appropriate. There is an interior design language that is thoughtful, a noble effort in every way compared to its competitors, with the exception of Mazda CX-3, which trounces everyone in terms of interior and exterior design. The engine is small and efficient, and combined with the CVT, Kix makes 125 horsepower and 110 pounds of torque, with an impressive fuel economy of 7.7 .7 liters in the city and 6.6 .6 liters on the highway, thanks to the front-wheel drive only configuration. Nissan has a very average reliability among the Japanese constructors. Kicks appears to be a good, honest product. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers, driving the 2018 Nissan Kicks. It's late in the 2018 season, but we're reviewing it anyway because it is a new vehicle. It is the new trend in the car business for manufacturers to offer a subcompact CUV and Nissan has, I think they actually have two really, they have the Qashqai and this one. Well, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about why people are attracted to these kind of vehicles. There's a reason why the market is going in that direction. It has to do with the everyday qualities of these vehicles. Number one, the visibility here is incredible. Incredible. You can see out in front, left, right, in the back, really good really good the other thing is is that you sit a bit up higher in these vehicles it gives you a more commanding sense on the road um it, it and and it has like that psychological feeling of feeling more safe when you're higher up the other thing too that is comfort oriented apart from the space is that the seats are because this vehicle is so high they can bring the seats up a little bit higher and therefore your legs are sitting in a more natural position and that is good especially for the daily commute because after half an hour an hour our legs get tired you will get less that effect sitting in a vehicle like this versus let's say a honda civic that is the plus value of these vehicles how does this vehicle drive? It drives very well. It has a very light steering wheel, very useful for when you're driving in the city and doing parking maneuvers. You don't have to put much effort into it. Also, very good in terms of the uh, carrying capacity, nice cargo space in back. It's got a small engine, very fuel efficient, has plenty of power for the city. Rosser marks it lacks a little bit of power on the highway, I agree. Also on the highway, not too noisy, average noisy for the category, very good. Another thing is the suspension. We can't expect an independent suspension, rear suspension at this price. Uh, it is, I would have to say, driving over Lachine's shitty roads. Um, it is very crashy. However, it is not like 
super jarring in the sense that uh, you're not gonna your head like you'll notice I'm not my head is not going like this from hitting the bumps. It's just it's just making a racket hitting these bumps. I think Nissan is offering something very honest here. Uh, the price range is good. The options are good. Um, I think it makes a good lease and Ross adds it may even make a good purchase. So those are my thoughts on the 2018 Nissan Kicks. By the way, if you like this video, click that like button. And also, if you don't like this video, click the don't like button. And also, if you own this vehicle or one of its competitors, perhaps you can put your ownership experience in the comments. A lot of people scroll down through those comments to see what others think. And it's good for the community. And that is it.